Um, Lieutenant Commander Antonin Weems Gorman. Primarily, I'm a ship captain. Um, I don't hold command presently, but I still go to sea doing some duties. And I'm also the commandant of a maritime training school that we're going to set up shortly. JDF Coast Guard has several roles um, in support of the rest of the force. Uh, we do maritime law enforcement, anti-narcotics operations. Primarily search and rescue is one of our major roles. We also do disaster relief um, and of course we are responsible for fishery protection and environmental protection in Jamaica's maritime space. You would find the Coast Guard patrolling our waters, enforcing any one or several of these roles simultaneously. So if there is, for example, a vessel, a fisherman lost at sea, we pursue a search and rescue case there that will always take primacy. Um, we also do anti-narcotics patrols looking for persons who may be trafficking narcotics or other contraband in our maritime space. Track, track, track. Training is very important. That, that is what uh, gives the sailor or gives us the tool to carry out our duties. So we do a lot of, uh, we do concentrate a lot on, on training. And as I mentioned that I'm the commandant of a school that we're setting up to do just that, to ensure that our professionalism is enhanced through training. So it's very important. Maritime environment is, is a very dangerous environment. And so we have to ensure that persons who we put to operate here know exactly what they're doing. Of course, the JDF is striving to move along with technology. Um, these, this platform is a county-class vessel, the last of which was acquired in 2006. And they're equipped with uh, modern state-of-the-art navigation aids and uh, ac accessory store engines and tools that allow us to carry out our roles, um, taking the best advantage of technology as possible. Typically when we depart, we have a, a setup which is called the Special Sea Duty Men Close-Up and each sailor and each officer on board the ship has a particular role to play. But up here we are at where you call the forecastle of the vessel and this will be the anchor party. And when we're in pilotage, what it means is uh, we are in restricted waters so we're, we need to be ready to respond to any emergency. If we should lose our steering or our engines or so on or we're running into some sort of danger, we can quickly release our anchor. So this is what these guys up here would be called the anchor party. They are in radio contact with the bridge wow. and cool. then they would also act as lookout for any visible obstacles in our path. For example, you just saw that these fishermen were just dropping a net across where we wanted to go. So they would notify the bridge and we made the sound to allow the guys to, to you know, notify them to get out of way, that kind of a thing. Um, but primarily they're up here for the anchor, to let go the anchor if we should need to let it go in an emergency. We have to do all our checks, our safety checks, ensure that all our equipment, navigation and other and mechanical equipment are at their optimum and the captain then gets a report from the various departments as to what's working, what's not working and then you'll have to make a decision on whether or not that vessel is suitable or able to carry out the, the role that we're going out to do. If we're going to depart, we would do our normal safety checks and um, ensure that all our navigation and mechanical equipment are working. Uh, the captain will get a report from the chief engineer about any defects and we would try to rectify what we can before. If not, um, we make a determination if the mission is more important than uh, the defect or you know, we can manage with the defect, we, we carry on with that or we make, you know, we can switch to another vessel because we have three of these platforms. Um, so we would plan a navigation course based on the captain's direction or the direction of the command of the Coast Guard as to where we should go and we have a navigator who would do that. The captain then approves that course and we set out in out the harbour that is called a pilotage where we go at a controlled speed using our radars and our charts we navigate out because it's restricted area uh, and then continue on our course. all the time there's someone on board who is doing some training in all of that so you have persons who have just joined the crew who are just learning the seamanship always doing the training while we're going along
likely emergencies that we would get calls about are search and rescue related. But there are also, I mean, instances where I would respond to disasters and so on. For example, going to Haiti or at, um, after the earthquake or even after a hurricane, we would take supplies and troops to that area. And again, some, some amount of planning has to go into that. Most importantly, to get the ship and the crew there safely and then conduct the mission safely. The Coast Guard tends to work very closely with the Air Wing because they are the other unit that, are, that is most equipped to um, operate at sea with us. Um, so they assist us with search and rescue. They also work in tandem with us for any interdiction purposes and even um, patrolling of maritime space in some instances for fishery protection or other issues such as Ill illegal immigration and so on.